Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here are 5 different ways to restart iPhone without buttons. For such cases as the iPhone button is damaged and you cannot force restart, in this video tutorial, I will show and explain 5 different ways to restart the iPhone without pressing buttons. Let's start the video and watch the video till the end. The first easy way is to restart the iPhone via assistive touch. Follow the steps performed on the video screen. So, head to the Settings app and scroll down to select Accessibility. After that, tap on the Touch option. Tap on the Assistive Touch. Make sure the Assistive Touch toggle is on. Assistive Touch allows you to use your iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen or require an adaptive accessory. You can see a tiny circle symbol on your screen, tap on it. When you tap on it, an array of options will appear. Now, tap on Device and click on the More option. You will see the Restart option at the bottom left side of the options. Tap on Restart. Wait a few seconds, and your Apple logo appears on the screen. That's it. Try out the second helpful way to restart the iPhone via voice control. It is another way to restart the iPhone without the volume button. Voice control enables you to navigate your iPhone using your voice. First, go to the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to tap on Accessibility. Now, move to the Physical and Motor section and select Voice Control. Then, turn on the voice control. Once you turn on the voice control, a blue microphone icon appears on the top right of the time. Now go to the home screen and give a voice command like restart the device. Your iPhone will follow the voice control and a pop-up will appear. Tap on the restart option. You can also perform voice control through Siri commands to turn voice control on or off. If you want to know how to activate Siri on your iPhone, click the i button at the top right corner to watch full video. Now, let's talk about the third frequently used way to restart your iPhone via reset network setting. This is a simple and easy way to restart your device without touching the power button. Open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down, and tap the general section. Now, swipe down and select transfer or reset iPhone. You can see two options. So our motto is to reset our device. So click on the reset option. Now, it will show different options for resetting. Now, click Reset Network Settings, which asks you to enter your device's passcode. For example, if you enabled the screen time passcode, enter it to move next. In the end, choose Reset Network Settings to confirm. After that, your phone will restart. It will remove all the paired Bluetooth devices and all Wi-Fi passwords that you have stored. You will need to enter the password to connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. That's it. The fourth convenient way is using the Settings app. This method only uses the power button to turn it on again, but doesn't need other buttons like the volume button. Open the Settings app and scroll to the General section. Now, swipe down and tap on the Shutdown option. The slider will appear with the slide to power off notice. So, slide the button to switch off your iPhone and hold the side button to turn on your iPhone until the Apple logo pops up. That's it. The fifth advantageous way is to restart the iPhone by draining the battery. When your iPhone runs out of battery, it will automatically power off and restart after some moment when you plug it in to charge. You can drain your iPhone battery by using it for playing games, watching videos, recording and capturing images, adjusting the brightness to high, or enabling location services or Bluetooth. This solution is more accessible than others if you have patience and time to wait. If you want to force restart your iPhone using buttons, do the following. This method uses a combination of volume keys and a side power button. Let's see how to use it first, press and quickly release the volume up, press and release the down button, then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears after the black screen. It might take 15 to 20 seconds. Just wait for the Apple logo. That's it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Like and comment on which way you like most. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel to catch up and see more tips and tricks videos.